Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Jamie and today I'm gonna do a chatty get ready with me video, testing a bunch of new makeup. New makeup to me, new makeup on the market. I have hauled a bunch of new makeup over the past two weeks and I wanted to show you guys what how it applies to my skin, what I've been thinking about it. So I'm so excited to share that with you. If you guys are interested in videos like this, I would love it if you consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. So today I went for more of like a Valentine's Day inspired look. I know we're in February now, so I decided to kick it up a notch in the pink department. <laughs> so I have a pink eyeshadow look on from the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. That's not new. That's the only thing that's like not new in this video. But uh, the rest of the makeup is new and pretty new um, on the market. But I didn't have a new pink palette. I actually don't buy pink palettes that often. Um, but maybe I should. Maybe I should make some some Valentine's Day inspired videos this month. So that sounds really good. Next time, I think I'm gonna use that new Tarte palette, the Tarte Juicy palette. So let's do that. But anyway, I'm gonna roll into this video. So you're gonna see me with no makeup on in three, two, one, go. All right, jumping in. So first I wanna clip back my hair and I wanna try to make this video in less than 20 minutes. So let's see, I'm going for it now. Oh, that looks terrible, but I think you guys get the point. So hair is back. So today we're gonna use the Clinique Even Better Foundation, and I have the color WN16 Buff. So I'm gonna pop up the top, and I'm just gonna go right on in with it. Let's put some on my hands, and so this foundation I feel like is um, probably medium coverage. So I really have to blend this out. I like light to medium coverage. So I work hard at blending this in so it doesn't scare me with the coverage. I just think when I look at my face and it's so light, it scares me. Like, huh, who is that? every time I catch myself in the mirror. So I definitely don't want to do that. So today I'm trying to make this video quick. Last time I tried to shoot this video or just to get ready with me, it took forever because I take my time when I have time to do my makeup. But I realized we don't always have that much time at all. So I apologize also for the lighting, it's really bright outside, but if I pull more light in, then I'll become like super washed out on my face because I'm like right in front of a window, if you can see right here. <laughs> so I have been really enjoying this foundation. I'm gonna do a review on it, but I think it has like a great, natural finish, it's not matte. I would say it's like a satin, leaning matte, maybe satin leaning matte finish. Very natural, looks great, and wears really well. So a primer, so I always use an eyeshadow primer, and you will notice with these um, Huda Beauty shadows, you definitely, need, you don't only need a primer, you need glitter glue. If you want these sparkly shades to stay on your lids and not all over your face with Huda Beauty shadows, you definitely need a glitter glue. I am really excited about the new Ipsy Xbox or bag or whatever they call it that's coming out. So got my notification today about what's in it. And I mean, this box, I think it's sold out. So you guys unfortunately can't get it right now, but I wanna show you, it's $55, right? I'm just so excited because it just came out today. So what is in my box for $55? I got a Patrick Ta uh, blush, which I have two of his cream powder blushes, but none that are just his regular blush. That's like a $32 value. 
Then the Huda, he Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remasters palette. That's like a $65 value. And then the um, Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. That's my favorite mascara. That's a $30 value. Then this cool beauty tool, which is just for like um, massaging your face, I guess. And then this lip, this matte lip um, lipstick, which I've never used before. It's a brand new brand. It's by that Halsey, Halsey, I don't know, this chick that's a singer, I guess. I didn't even know about her until the other day. So I got that. That's like a $22 value. This is like a $50 value for that tool. And then I picked on... Um, I picked a couple of things. This Air Professional Texture Spray, I picked that. I don't have any idea about that brand, but I love texture sprays. Then this Hair Oil by the brand Saints and Sinners. It's like a, just a hair oil. And then this Babe Lash Serum, like a lash growth serum, and I love those. I use those daily. So this Babe Lash one, I decided to try it. And then I added on a couple brushes. These Ferro brushes are great. This is $3 to add on. These satin scrunchies, I got those for $3. And I got this other brush, fair brush for $3. And then this uh, eyeshadow palette for $3. So I added those on because I just, I don't know, because I'm a makeup addict. So I'm getting those too, I'm excited. Um, so let's see, I did this and I wanted to go in with the shadow. So we're gonna go in with the shadows on my eyes and then when it comes to doing my lid, I am going to, um, what am I gonna do for my lid? I'm gonna add a glitter glue. I got a new one. So for the lid, let's go in with Teddy. I'm gonna use Teddy. These are so dusty. Just warning ya if you've never used them. Huda Beauty palettes are dusty, but they're really pigmented. They're great with color payoff. They have great staying power. Um, I like them, I'm a fan, but they're not like the easiest to work with, I would say, but I'm still buying them and supporting her brand. So I was so excited to get that new palette. I've never had it. This was the first palette that I bought from Huda. So, um, I am excited. And for 55 bucks for all that stuff, it's like a $450 value for the things that just come in the box. It's like, heck yeah, I am psyched. I mean, they have set the bar high. So I don't know if they can compete, keep, you know, keep up with this type of great stuff in their next one. But I'm all in. Whatever. We'll see what happens. I like Ipsy Plus. I know those videos get like bad views on my channel, but I don't know. I like it. So, so I said I was going to go with a pinky look today, but actually let me blend this out a little bit up here because I know that these shadows just don't blend that easily. So you want to go back with like a brush with nothing on it and blend out the edges. So anyway, that was my exciting thing this morning. I woke up, had that going on. Got to pick out my options for Ipsy, so very excited. What else is going on? Uh, work's been good. Kids have been great. Everybody is like potty trained now. And uh, next color I'll go into is this one, Raw, it's called. I think I actually like the other, the newer palette, um, the Naughty palette from Huda a little bit more than this one, but I felt like since it's almost Valentine's Day, I wanted to try to give a little bit more pinks a shot, but you know, by the looks of what I'm doing right here, it's still my usual brown. <laughs> oh, the only thing about this palette is it doesn't go dark. And then the Huda, the the Naughty palette does go dark. So these are like great actual like companion um, palettes. This New Nudes and the Naughty. Um, this looks so patchy right now. It really does. Um, I am just gonna spend some time blending. So I grabbed like a clean brush and I'm gonna start with the outside because 
what goes on is the outside is the lightest, right? So I wanna blend that first because I don't want any like residual uh, eyeshadow to kind of come up here. So I start with the, the lightest part and then I work my way down and I just blend and blend. Um, so it doesn't look too crazy. You know, I do like natural looks pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time. And then the other day I did like a colorful or more colorful, you like today probably, a kind of a pink accented look. And then I went out to the store and then with my mask on and then I got compliments on my crazy look that I'm like, oh, this is not what I normally wear. But I think everybody's just kind of looking for something Fun. I just can't show up on a work call or something with some crazy eyeshadow. So what else? Um, you know, kids are in school. That's going all right. Today, I guess, they had some accidental alarms that went off at the school. My kids are both home today. My son wasn't feeling well. He normally goes in. My oldest uh, in high school, but he wasn't feeling well. And the county had an accidental, like, alarm go off. And it was, like, in every school in the county. And it was a take cover type of alarm. I guess it really scared the crap out of a bunch of people. That's what it sounded like. It would scare the crap out of me. But it went off in every uh, school. So it was, like, a county-wide problem. So that is not good at all. Especially with, you know, the current climate with everything. Oh my gosh, then I have a crazy story. So the other day, gosh, I hate this. Oh, my, 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 my foundation's done, so I'll take that down. I think I look crazy with my hair like that. Um, so the other day I went to go drop my son off at lacrosse practice at his school and at the, like I, I drop him off like towards the building and then, oh my gosh, I have 10 minutes to do the rest of my face because I'm just a jibber jabber. Um, I dropped him off at the building. So I got this the other day, let's do this really quick. This is the Ben Eye Glitter Glue. It's not supposed to be like recommended for eyes, but rule breaker. I just need to be careful not to like get it in my eyes. So I put a little bit on my hand and look at this, this is a great amount of products, I think it was like 11 bucks. So I just really wanted to try it. So I put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I dip my finger in it and then I put it on my lids. Um, so I go to drop my son off at the side of the school. So he's going into the school cause he's gotta get in the locker room and do his thing for lacrosse, get all dressed. Um, and then at the football field, down the way, there were like, there's a cop that shows up with his lights on. And I'm like, what the heck is going on down there? And then I see some kid like jumping on their car on the side of the car. So it's like, you're standing, you're like getting out of the driver's side, but you're like standing on the side of the driver's side. It was just like a, you know, regular compact car. And they're like jumping on the side of their car. I'm like, what is going on? And then all of a sudden, like I drop off my son and I go to go down there because I'm nosy. I have to know what's going on. And let's look at these colors. I think I'm gonna go with this one, Charmed. I'm gonna put it on my finger and then press it in to my lid. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, So these, just so you know, FYI, these shadows are awesome, but they have so much fallout. If you don't put on a glitter glue, you'll look like a glittery mess. So, if you want these shadows, buy glitter glue. Um, so anyway, I go down there and there's some kid laying out on the pavement and then the fire truck has arrived and it's like a whole scene down there. But there's like nobody really standing around so I just kind of glance over and try to drive by, do a quick little drive by. And I didn't know what was going on. I had no idea this kid is laid out on the pavement. I'm like, did they just take him out because he was crazy or something? I didn't even know if it was a guy or a girl or what. So then my son, I picked him up from practice later and he said that the 
gates that like close off the parking lot at that area were left open. They weren't tied up like they typically are or chained up and they swung, one of them swung and hit this person's car, this kid's car. And it went right through the passenger side window of the front of their car and like right into the passenger side um, seat. Luckily there was no passenger in that car. Otherwise they probably would have been like decapitated. So I guess that kid was just freaking out, like just stunned at what had just happened and was like, it's going a little crazy with the situation in shock. So that's why they were jumping around and that's what I saw. So I don't know, that sounds horrific, especially for somebody who's just learning how to drive or you know, is in high school, not the best drivers yet. So scary, but luckily it sounds like nobody was really hurt was just super shocked and their car was totaled or their I don't know I didn't really get to see the details of what had happened but it sounds like their car was totaled so that was drama I hate seeing stuff like that I mean it's hard I guess that's the thing where like you want to look because you're like oh my gosh what's going on but then you don't want to look I don't want to look I am not like the person that I'm like, I can't even watch like America's Funniest Videos because it makes me hurt like physically when people get like, you know, kicked in the gut or like something's thrown at their head. I'm like, ow, I'm like my, my head hurts. Like I'm so empathetic or something. Like I feel like I feel their pain. I can't do it. My son. My little son loves America's Funniest Videos and he's always laughing at all the things, but I'm like, no, it hurts, it hurts. So anyway, poor kids, I can't like, I'm so bad with accidents oh, and I can't even think about it. I just don't even let my brain go there, like about people I love and accidents. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. So let's stop talking about that and let's talk about some good things. Today, the sun is shining. Yesterday was so gloomy. That was horrible. It's still only 40 degrees outside, which is the most ugh, ridiculous. I'm so ready for winter to be over. I hate it. I get seasonal depression and I can't handle it. So um, I don't think I told you what I was using there. I use the Clinique um, Even Better Concealer and I use it in the same shade that I used the foundation in and it's WN16 Buff. Now I'm gonna go into another new product that I got. These are all new products, by the way. So like face full of new makeup other than this palette, this palette I've had for a while, but I kind of wanted to do like a Valentine's Day kind of thing. So this is the new Light Shifter um, Finishing Veil from Becca in the color Star Child number two. You can see it's very just transparent. You can't even, I just swatched it here. You can't see it. So that's pretty good though. Um, just because I use it as a setting powder and I'm gonna use it under my eyes as well to set that concealer. So I really wanted this product because I thought um, it'd be great to have something close, maybe like a dupe for um, Hourglass. Oh my gosh, how about the drama with Hourglass? Anyway, I'm so torn on Hourglass because I do like their products, but I definitely am for all about inclusion. I think they're, I have hope for them. I think they're still gonna get their act together. I don't think they're purposely just being ridiculous, but I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of different brands. Like when now, I, you know, when I go to CVS or Walgreens, there are, you know, black, skin, you know, lines, um, makeup lines that are angled towards people of color. And I've got no problem with that, you know, like, cool. I don't go to those brands and expect to find my products. I just don't. I mean, because my skin tone, I mean, I might try blush or mascara or whatever colored face products that they have. I don't, you know, I, I'm not gonna not buy their stuff and I'm all for black owned brands. I've got a lot of um, Pat McGrath stuff and 
all that. I love makeup, but I don't know if we should beat the crap out of brands that that's not their, you know, that's not who they sell to. Like, I'm not beating the crap out of those black owned brands saying like, you have to have products that sell to cater to my skin tone. You know, I haven't done this lately, but I used to buy, oh, what was it? So many years ago, there was like a rage. It was the, um, I feel like it was the LA Girl Concealer or something. And it was like all the rage. And this was a while ago and they were not selling it at Ulta at the time. And they were selling it just at like, you know, black beauty stores. And like, I went into a couple black beauty stores looking for, you know, my shade in that product or that product and see what shades they had. And they didn't have my shade. And I wasn't like outraged. And, you know, I don't go into those stores thinking that they're catering to me because they're not. So I'm not, you know, anyway, I don't want to get on it. I know it's a controversial subject, but not everything is gonna be everything for everyone. So, whatever. Okay, so Physician's Formula, I just put on their matte uh, butter bronzer. This is the new one. This is the lightest of the two colors. I am in love with this. This is definitely like gonna make its way to my favorites. I feel like I like the color. I think it's because it's, um, you know, it's winter time and I'm a little bit whiter than I typically am, lighter. Um, but I love that. I love that. So that's really good. And now I'm going to finish off the eyes because we did that other stuff under the eyes. So now I'm going to grab like a flat shader brush. Actually, I'm going to grab this one because it's more fluffy, fluffy, flat shader. I'm going to go into that first color that I picked, which was, um, this one secret. And I'm gonna buff that under my eyes. So this color, like there's so many pinks in here, so many pinks. But I mean, there are some neutral browns in here too. So you can get just a neutral look if that's what you're going for. Oh, I think I should have went with Teddy because I think that's what I went with first. But now I got like some pink. Pink under eye, which is okay, as long as I like really uh, buff that out. So I have to go back in with my concealer uh, powder brush, my setting brush that I used under here, and just like buff that a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to use some blush so I think I'm gonna go with this one. So this is new. I just got this the other day. This is the Milani Cheek Kiss Blush in Nude Kiss. So this is extremely pigmented, but I'm loving it. Just grab, I actually grab like a stipple brush. These e.l.f. stipple brushes, don't sleep on them, $4. I love them. <laughs> They're, they mean everything to me. Um, so, just be aware when you put this on, it's very pigmented. Just gonna wanna blend it a good bit. This is great though. I like this. I do think it does pull really, for like a nude color, I think it pulls pink. I don't know, I mean, it's nice. I guess it matches my eyeshadow look today. Looks good, okay, and then for um, ugh. for my highlighter, I'm going in with my new one, the Auric one that I got, the Glow Lost, and this is in the shade Sel Selenite. I put this on yesterday. Let's put this back on. I really liked this. Yesterday was my first time using it. It's very creamy and kind of a little bit on the thicker side, which is cool. That just means it's like melting in with my other products. It doesn't move around what I put it on top of, 
which I am very appreciative of. I don't want to move. I just put, I mean, look at that. That's awesome. That's incredible. That's not like moving things around. I feel like everything else moves things around. This is great. And it doesn't look, I mean, it looks nice and healthy, but it doesn't look crazy and um, like you just sprayed highlight everywhere on your face. I really like this. And then I am, I bring it down my cheek a little bit because I do, it's not really affecting the colors underneath. So I don't mind like putting it there and then it just makes my cheek look healthy. This is awesome. Okay. I am totally a fan of this now. This is only like my second day using it. But this is different. This is really different. All right, and then what I have left, you only need just a little bit of what I have left. I'm gonna put down the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna put just a little up here. You know how we all get a little light up there as well. That's awesome. Winners, winners, all right. Oh. Things are looking good. I've got just a couple minutes left, so let's, I've got a new mascara, so we'll put that on. And I've got a new eyeliner, but I don't even know. I'm just gonna put a teeny little bit of eyeliner, like right out here right close to my lash line. This is the Jones Road eyeliner. All right. And I think the eyes look pretty good. I'm gonna go in with this mascara. So this is new. This is also, I've got so much new stuff. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. I love their Fetish Eyes Mascara. Now this is Dark Star and let's put this on. Okay, and that's like one eye, one coat. There's no, nothing on there. I think it looks good. It's, um, I still like the fetish, la the fetish eyes one a little bit more. Okay, and let's go underneath. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm gonna make this quick and it's still taking a half an hour. <laughs> All right, I got, um, this new uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Brown Brow Pen the other day. So let's use this a little bit. That's getting a little dark over there. I'm not seeing it like doing the little hair strokes like I see people do. I don't know if they do it with this product necessarily, but I see people like, oh, look, perfect hair strokes in their videos. And that's not what happens to me when I get in front of the mirror with my eyeshadow or eyebrow products. <laughs> Curious if that happens to you guys. I'm not seeing the perfection that other people are. I really need to get better at my brows. It's like 
Should make that like a 2021 goal. Get better at brows, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. Last thing is lips and what do I wanna do? Do I wanna do one of the big ones? I guess I will because why not? I mean, I did a video on these before. These are the NYX uh, Shine Loud lipsticks. I'm gonna do the bright pink one. So the ticket, the secret with these is to put a thin coat on. All right, I'm gonna go in and um, put that gloss on in just a minute, but this is my completed like Valentine's Day pink eye look. It feels like I could use a little bit more blush while we're waiting for that to dry. I don't know, just cause? I mean, why not? I already have pink lips, pink eyes. Why not go all in with the pink cheeks? Feels like, feels like that should be right. Kind of clownish, kind of, but you know, it works, or whatever. And this is it. So lips feel good now. I'm gonna put on the gloss and I'm gonna get on out of here. Like I said, this color, I think I said this, is Goal Getter. So that's it guys. This is my finished little getting in the Valentine's Day spirit look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check it out, check out that little, nice little glow. These products are awesome. I'm gonna have more reviews on them, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for taking the time to get ready with me and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.